Let's praise him. Let's love him. Let's appreciate him. Lord, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you all the honor. Somebody praise him this morning in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. One more time, thank you for his, new, his mercies that are new every morning. Lord, we acknowledge your mercy this morning. It is by your mercies that we are not consumed. It is by your mercies that we are not consumed. It is by your great mercies that we are not consumed. It's by your mercies that we're not consumed. It's by your mercies we're not consumed. It is by your mercies we're not consumed. Thank you, Abba Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say good amen. Jeremiah chapter number one. That is our anchor scripture of this week. Jeremiah chapter number one. Hallelujah. God will give do something new in your life today. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because you woke up this morning and the first thing you sought is, is the Lord. I believe God that you shall you will find him and you will not only find him you will find good today in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ you see they that seek me early shall find me hallelujah as you seek God early you will find God and when you find God you will find good when you find God you will find peace when you find God you will find progress when you find God you will find healing in the name of our Lord Jesus. Jeremiah chapter number one this morning. I want to sincerely welcome you for rising up this morning to run to the sanctuary of God. I pray God this morning that the book of Psalm chapter number 20 will be duplicated in your life today. He said he will send you help from the sanctuary. He will defend you and he will honor your offerings. I pray God that there will be help for you from the sanctuary of God today. There will be help for you from the sanctuary of God today. Wherever you are connected to this prayer, get ready because there will be help of God reaching you today. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jeremiah chapter number one. Quickly this morning, Jeremiah chapter number one. Our assignment this week is very crucial and very important. Hallelujah. Verse number 10 is where our prayers will be kicking off from. See. Let me look at your neighbor. See. I admit that I have this day, not tomorrow, set the over nations and over kingdoms to do what to root out let me look at your neighbor say root out do what root out he say to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down and to build and to plant hallelujah he gave us how many dimensions of assignment here root out pull down do what destroy three throw down four five good and six to the world to plant glory be to god that is our assignment this week and we put all of them together and say root out hallelujah help me look at your neighbor and say root out it's time to root out that sickness it's time to root out that negative occurrence in a way that he didn't say cut down he said the word root out that is to tell you that every challenge has a foundation and he said this money should do what root it out don't cut it don't cut the leaves don't cut the flowers don't cut the branches do what root it out hallelujah let me look at somebody say root it out root out this morning hallelujah glory and that's what i'm going to be doing that's what we're beginning we root out we will destroy hallelujah we will not only destroy we will pull down we will not only pull down we will build and we will plant raise the right hand if we are together say my heavenly father in the name of jesus christ i rise up this morning having received mercy and grace to root out to root out everything that does not represent you in my life in my day in my mood in my destiny in my career in my business i rise up having received mercy by the blood of the covenant i rise up to root out i rise up to root out to root out every occurrence that is not of you every happening every event every event not ordained of god in the name of jesus christ we can lose i rise up to root out this week it is a week to root out i want something new so i need to root out the old a calibra antaleke subragadoshia Everything that 
that have been planted in my day why i was still asleep i wake up this morning to root it out that which have been planted why i was asleep that which have been planted why i was I, I, I was yet to, to to run to the sanctuary now that i'm in the sanctuary i receive the power of god to root out every disease that every sickness that taking root in my body you are rooted out this morning every thought that is not consistent with the word of god the will of god you are rooted out of the thoughts of death the thoughts of affliction the thoughts of pain the thoughts of shame the thoughts of stagnation every thought that is not in line with the word of god this morning i root you out in the name of jesus every every anti-covenant practice going on around me i root you out every anti-covenant activities going on around my family i root you out i root out every struggle this morning i root out every pain this morning i root out every shame this morning i root out every stagnation i root out they said the sickness is in the blood is running through your family he killed your great grandfather he killed your father he has even killed your father now it is your turn open your mouth this morning say it's rooted out i root you out they say it's genetic it's found in the gene but i rise up to root it out in lakatalaba they say this poverty has been following everybody in your family i rise up to root it out they say divorce has been following everybody in your family i rise up to root it out they say crisis family crisis is the is the, the is that identity of your family lineage i rise up to root it out they say barrenness is the landmark in your family i rise up to root it out they say nobody makes it in your family it's time to root it out everybody struggling in your family it's time to root it out it's so see god so see i have set you i am like you are the set man of god this morning you are the set woman of god this morning you are the set child of god this morning you are the set businessman he said i have set you over the nations and over the kingdoms and one of the things you are going to do is to root out a that will sponsor sorrow in your family labor in your life root it out this morning is rooted out i root out every negative report today in my business everything anything going on in my business not a day of god i root you out this morning you are rooted out in lack Every programming tata e kreto sokoto lekete gerebo e kreto sangre kete lekete tete e kalekete tete tete every pain in my body i root you out this morning i don't know how you woke up this morning you woke up with nightmare you woke up with satanic oppression in your dream you woke up with ayakata with a fearful dream e kalaba root it out this morning you can't follow me to the day you woke up depressed this morning you woke up weak this morning you woke up discouraged this morning root it out because the day is bright the day is bright today is breaking in your favor today is breaking for your lifting today is breaking for your joy today is breaking for your that voice that is telling you you can't make it today that voice telling you will die that voice that is telling you you can't make it in business root it out this morning i will set you over the nations i have set you over the kingdoms to root out and lake to balaya that voice telling you can't pay that bills and that bill and that bill and that bill and that 
That voice that tells you you can't rise above the level you are. Root it out. That voice that tells you you can't find husband to marry. You can't find wife to marry. Root it out. It's a lie. It's a voice of deception. It's a voice of deception. It's a falsehood voice. That voice. In the name of Jesus, somebody shall root it out. Somebody say root it out. In your body, root it out. In your family, root it out. In your business, root it out. In your health, root it out. In your finance, root it out. In your marriage, root it out. Somebody shall root it out. In the name of Jesus, number two, he said, he said what? I have also set you over the nations and the kingdom to do what? To pull down. If you connect this scripture to what it says in 2 Corinthians chapter number 10, if you begin to read from verse number 3, it says, Though we war, <laughs> we war, but we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare, they are war, they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. He said, Pull it down. Every stronghold in my life, I pull you down this morning. Every stronghold in my business, I pull you down this morning. Every stronghold in my mind, the one that decided to sit in my mind, that will not let me make progress, think, think great, think mega. I, I do what I pull you down. Raise your right hand with me, say, My Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm not taking it easy this week because something new must happen this morning. I'm not taking it easy this morning. Something new must happen this morning. I rise up as one with the authority of Christ. I rise up as one with the anointing of God. Anointed of God. I rise up as one ordained of God. As one the Lord has set over the day, over the nation, over the kingdom. I pull down every stronghold, every stronghold of limitation in my mind, every stronghold that the economy has set over my business, I pull you down. Every stronghold, family challenges and crises have set over my life, every limitation that the place over my career, I pull you down in the name of Jesus. Pull it down this morning. 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 The Bible says Elijah, the prophet of God, was seated in the mountain communicating with God, and the captain of soldiers came. They said, Elijah, we came to pull you down. Elijah said, Before you pull me down, let fire consume you. Lord, I release fire. Every hand that is stretched to put down my ministry, I release fire. Every hand that is stretched to put down my marriage, I release fire. It shall set you over the nations to pull down every structure, every demonic structure, every demonic structure that has been built to limit me today. I pull you down. That which is fighting my mind every day, fighting possibilities around me, fighting new things not to happen around me. I pull you down this morning. I pull down every witchcraft covenant, every witchcraft gang up, and every occultic move, occultic, occultic voices speaking day and night. I pull you oh, I wish some people came to pray with me this morning. I, I thought you came for command your money. I thought you came for command your money. If you came, you're going to open your mouth. I said yesterday, if you are not speaking, you are losing. You win when you start speaking. I pull you down. Every Nyenreku syndrome, you will pursue that thing. Very close to touching it. Very close for them to sign it. They'll give you another excuse. Every Nyenreku syndrome, every Nyenreku syndrome, I pull you down. A rabba antalabaya is going through for you this morning. It will go through for your husband. It will go through for your wife. That, 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 
pursuit is going to upset you. See, I have set you just to do what? Just to pull down. Every hand that is stretched in the realm of the spirit to pull me down, I pull them down. Every system that is set just to pull me down, I pull you down. Every voice that is speaking to pull me down, I pull you down. Elijah said, before you pull me down from the mountain, I will give you what I have. Peter says, such as I have, give I unto you, a rabba and palaba, and like that's how we give you what I have. A kabala gadana. I don't have knife with me. I don't have physical gun with me because my weapon is not kana. It's mighty through God. To the pulling down on stronghold. He said, "I be a servant of God." A kabata le katabaya. It shall let fire come down and consume you. A rabba tale gazi gadana. He rakata leke te 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 te. He so balata leka rabata ha. He shabla ke te 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 te. Somebody pull it down, pull it down. Every structure, he kaleke te te. Everyone that ganged up in your family, ganged up against your family, pull them down this morning. Ganged up against your business, pull it down this morning. Every incantation going on before your business in your business place, pull it down, pull it down. I have set you over the nations to. Pull it down. It anything that is not of God. As I step into my day, I pull you down. That which will make me not to return with testimony today. I pull you down. It I've been mandated by God. I've been instructed by God to pull you down. Every stronghold in my mind. Every mental stronghold. That 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 that. that stronghold that will not allow my mind to host prosperity that will not allow my mind to hold great dreams that will not allow my mind to hold most multitude a color to host multitude to host blessing to host increase i pull you down you are not of god you are against the will of god Tabaya, in the individuals uh, that you have brought around yourself, uh, they are fighting every day to put down your vision. Let the answer the Lord. I put them down this morning. E kala bala kata 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 kata. E kendo lebo sande gebre gedoski. E leke te leke gebre gedos sande gebre gedoski. E karaba anta lega da. E kerendo singlaluski. Pull it down, pull it down, pull it down. In the name of Jesus, pull it down. Every sickness that been projected from the pit of hell just to pull down my health, I pull you down. E sabala kata kata kata. E bra anta leke te te te. Every challenge that come to cripple my finance, I Pull you down. We shambled like cat, 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 cat. We can't be no shanda. I take charge of my day. I take charge of my money. I take charge of my money. I take charge of my money. I take a yeah, no, 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 shata. Shangolo to me can live here. E crypto sabra da. E le crypto sabaya. E bele to zigi bire. E crypto sabaya. E ke 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 ke. E bra anta la baya. E shambled like cat. Pull down every stronghold. Every high anything that imagine yourself. Every imagination that is against the will of God, every imagination that is against prosperity, every imagination that is against righteousness, every imagination that is against blessing, every imagination that is against peace, every imagination that is against stability, every imagination that is against promotion, pull it down this morning. E kalebo shata baya, amalaga dobe shata ya, shangeme dobe shata. E kreba inda in the name. Jesus, help me shout, pull it down. Help me look at your neighbor, say, pull it down. Pull him down. It's going down in your life. It's going down in your life. Everything not of God. Everything not a thing of God in your health, in your destiny. Pull it down. It's going 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 down. Everything that is against your health. That be working against your head, pull it down, and it's going down. This morning, somebody shout a big amen, and shout a big amen. God is the number three assignment. He say, root out, pull down, and destroy. Lord, I challenge every destroyer. I destroy the destroyer this morning. That which have destroyed people's destiny, I destroy you this morning. Every destroyer walking around. 
when the destroyer moved around the land of Egypt, when they woke up in the morning, every firstborn, where every firstborn died, I don't know the destroyer that they sent into your family. When the destroyer came into the land of Sodom and Gomorrah, everywhere caught fire, and there was mass destruction. When the destroyer came in the days of Noah, the flood carried the multitude. I don't know the destroyer that is sent after your business, but I rise up this morning to say every destroyer must be destroyed this morning. Nobody said a good amen in the house. Nobody said a good amen in the house. I don't know the destroyer that has been programmed against your health, but you are, you, are, you, you are going to use your mouth to destroy it. Raise your right hand neighbor with me this morning. Say, my heavenly father. My heavenly Father, I rise up as one washed with the blood of Jesus, as one sanctified by the blood, as one with the word of God in my mouth, as one in the place of authority. I raise my voice and I challenge every destroyer, every destroyer that been programmed, destroyer, destroyer. Lord, I destroy the destroyer. I destroy the destroyer. Whether they program you against my business, I destroy you. Every destroyer, every destroyer, whatever route you want to take, whatever path you want to play i decree this morning you will not stand neither will you come to pass destroyer destroyer in my room destroyer destroyer of my joy destroyer of my self-esteem destroyer of my ministry destroyer of god's grace upon my life destroyer of god's covenant destroyer of god's peace and joy a capital i rise up against you every Destroyer is destroyed. Whether you are accident, whether it's fire outbreak, you are a destroyer. Every destroyer. Somebody raise a voice. Raise a voice and speak as one that woke up with authority. Raise a voice and speak as one that woke destroyer of my health. They say it's virus. They say it's fungi. They say it's bacteria. They say it's an epidemic. I don't want to know the name, but you are a destroyer. You are a destroyer. You are a destroyer. I don't know the wrong cancer that want to destroy your vision, that want to destroy your marriage. Every destroyer you are destroyed this morning. Wherever your name is being destroyed, no more from this morning. Wherever your personality is being destroyed, no more this morning. Wherever your reputation is being destroyed, your integrity, your honesty, your love, no more this morning. Lord, arise. In the name of Jesus, help me look at your neighbor and say, destroy the destroyer. Destroy the destroyer. The destroyer is giving way. The destroyer is giving way for your sake this morning. Somebody shout a bit amen. And no shout a bit amen. Two more assignments, he said, we should do. He said, three more assignments, sorry. He said, throw down. Do what? So do what? If this thing is in this place, and I intentionally do what? Push it and leave it. What will happen? It will go down. Do what? Throw down. Lord, which means anything you need to throw down is occupying a particular space. Hallelujah. We are going to throw down some things this morning. Amen. I say amen. Raise your right hand if you are with me, say my heavenly father. I didn't hear you, my heavenly father. I say my heavenly father. I rise up. I rise up as one with authority to throw down the forces of enemy. The forces from the pit of hell. I throw down every of my place in destiny. I throw down 
activities not of you in the name of jesus i throw you down this morning in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus the wonder when the prophet of god elisha came he said he looked at jezebel he said throw jezebel down from the window because as far as he keep on sitting on the window you can't receive light abraham talabaya he throw jezebel down abraham talabaya jezebel was sitting on the window a window is a place the light comes revelation comes he said throw jezebel down from the window and they threw jezebel down and jezebel died my god and my father i throw down things that that, that were set up occupying 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 my testimony blocking my testimony a crabba until i'm limiting my testimony i throw you down this morning it doesn't matter the position you're taking i dispossess you and i throw you down not set i throw you down the bible speaking about jesus he entered the temple he saw that they set goods on the table he said i did not put these goods on the table he began to throw them down anything the master did not set i throw it down anything the master did not arrange i throw it down anything that the master did not appoint i disappointed this morning jesus entered the temple he said my father's house shall be called the house of prayers but you have turned it to den of thieves you have turned it to a place of merchandise you have turned it to a place of rubbish you have turned it to a senseless place you have turned it to an unprofitable place you have turned it to a place of backwardness you have turned it to a place of malice you have turned into a place of wickedness and the bible says he did not call john he did not call peter he did not call andrew he did not call matthew with his own hands he began to throw down now it's time to throw down i throw down every table you did not set every table you did not set every table of trap every table of wickedness i throw them down this morning and the Jesus enter my body this morning every table you did not set Lord let it be thrown down enter my health enter my liver enter my bones enter my blood every table you did not set there let it be thrown down Jesus enter my business any table you did not set let it be thrown down enter my marriage enter my family the tables you did not set in my marriage let I declare that it's thrown down this morning. In the name of Jesus. Every table the Lord did not set, I see it thrown down this morning. Every table that is for your trap, I declare that it's thrown down this morning. Can somebody shout a better amen? Any table the God did not set in your marriage is thrown down this morning. The one he did not set in your health is thrown down this morning. I wish somebody would say an agreement, amen. I wish somebody would say an agreement, amen. And he gave us two more assignments. You will not only throw down, but you will build. Hallelujah. You will not throw down, but you will do one. You will build. There's a right hand that with me say, my heavenly father my heavenly father i receive the builders anointed i receive the builders unction this morning in the name of jesus i see my spiritual life built i see my life built i see my destiny built stronger i am built for impact in the name of jesus our lord god almighty in the name of jesus i take on the building anointed i take on the building unction in the name of jesus i see my prayer life built one more time i see my spiritual life my world life built 
I see my finances built one more time. And I see my business built stronger. for impact. I see my ministry built. Anything down, it received the building anointed. Receive the building anointed. Don't say I lost my business last year. I've not been able to build. Uh, there's an anointing to go and build and rebuild again. God said I've set over the nations to build. I lost so much last month. I don't know what to do. There's an anointing for you to build again. Your support has left you. You say, How do I build? There's an anointing to build right now. Receive that anointing to build. You are building something mega. You are building something that is impactful. So you are building something that will make exploit. Receive the anointing to build. And the next verse, and the next the next thing, the next word, he said, Don't just build. He said, You should also do one plant in the name of Jesus. You are not only building, but you are planting. And Lord, I plant life this morning. I plant grace this morning. I plant increase this morning. In Leko Rabata, in Shabalakata, Leke Brigadoski, in Shekre Ekele Brigadoski, in Rabba Anta Legabaya. Nobody begin to plant something. God, you have, you have received the farmer's anointing this morning. You have received the farmer's anointing this morning. Lord, my company is planted this morning. My vision is planted this morning. E Calibra Anta Legaba Shagada Bagoskia. My spiritual life is too strong this morning. I am building to last. I am my vision will last. I am building to last. I am building to last. I am built to last. I am built to last. And I'm, I'm building to last. Ebra anta le kataya, e shabala katale kradoskia, e rabla anta la bashande gebrigadoskia, e rabba anta le kezeketete, e bra anta le katabaya, e rabba anta la bashatea, e shekele gebrigadoskia, e rabba anta la bashande gebrigadoskia, e shekrege gebrigade. E bala katale kanda la basande ke brigadoskia e rakla le so brigadoskia e la kete tete tete e kraba anda la basande ke brigadoskia e raba anta le kete brigadosata shabala katale ke brigadosata ya e raba anda la basande ke brigadoskia e pra anda le ke brigadosata ya e shabala katale ke tete 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 e kraba la katale ke tete ke brigadoskia e raba anta le ke tete ya e shabala katata katata e kala batala ya. Lord, I am building to last. Everything my hand touches will last. Lord, whether my testimony will last, my marriage will last, my ministry will last. E karaba anta lege de sakataya. E prakata leke te lege bregedoskia. E rabla anta leke te labaya. E shabala kata leke te labarataya. E krabala kata leke bregedosata. E shabba anta leke te bregedoskia. E rabba anta leke laba shataya. E shabala kata ta 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 ta. E krabba anta laba shonde ke bregedoskia. E rabla anta leke te 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 te. E bra anta leke le bregedoskia. Shabra anta leke. Somebody talk to God. E kalaba shanda laga bregedoskia. E krab Ba anta lega ni bregadoskia, e ba anta lega lega balata ya, e shabala kata le kata, e shabla anta lega daya, e karaba anta lega ni braha, e shabala kata ta 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 ta. Ebra anta lika libra gado sataya. E kalabra anta lika libra gado sataya. E shabala kata ta 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 ta. I am building to last. 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 I am a building to last. In the name of Jesus. Before we intercede for the nation, if you watch me, I've been trying to look at the scripture because God has been laying in my heart. We should make this declaration before we leave. Numbers chapter number eleven. Verse number 31. He said, And there went forth a wind from the Lord and brought coals from the sea and let it fall by the camp as it were a day's journey on this side and it were a day's journey on the other side round about the camp. 
and it were 200 cubits high upon the face of the earth hallelujah i'm going to pray this morning lord i stand who is the wind what they saw was a physical shaking of the wind but but when we know that that wind that thing was shaken in the natural was the power of the holy ghost was the anointing power of the spirit was the holy ghost that they were that was at work lord this this season of new things holy spirit i partner with you holy spirit i tap into your wisdom holy spirit i i entreat you that you will reach out and draw in new customers into my business draw in new souls into the work in my hand draw new, new souls into the kingdom of god he said there went forth wind is the holy ghost that went forth and when he went out they returned with a testimony he got that quails he made them possible possible because they were in the wilderness quails quails you find quails in the coastal area but when god gets ready to walk he breaks barriers because there's no distance with god you are going to pray this morning holy ghost i am treat you by your mercy this season cannot pass me by ah lord i need i need i need new customers the holy spirit and i'm engaging your power i'm engaging your personality draw new souls draw new customers do I get something new when the quail came did not seen that before the God will serve is a God of mighty resurrection say my heavenly father I partner with the Spirit of God. I entreat the Holy Ghost this morning. I entreat the Holy Spirit. I need something new. Holy Ghost, I partner with you. Go around the city. Go around the city. Go around the nations. Go around the kingdom and draw in something new. New contract. A new customers. A new souls to the kingdom of God. New souls. A even in your school, tell God to draw in new students, new pupils to come. In Lakatabaya, in that business, you need new customers. More people are committing to command your money. More people are new people. Families are all over there committing to command your money. They went for the wind. The wind is the Holy Ghost. Please don't forget the scripture. Always engage him. He knows where the, your customers are. He knows where to bring them from. They were hungry without solution. But the Holy Ghost had the solution. He knew where the food, the meat they were looking for. That thing you are looking for, the Holy Ghost knows where it is. He knows how to network it into your life. Spirit of the living God, this month of new things, new souls, new souls, new customers, new financial breakthrough, new ideas, new opportunities. Holy Ghost, I am treat your mercy. I am treat your mercy. I hook up with your power. I hook up with your anointed. I hook up with your wisdom. I hook up with your strength for something new. Something new. Somebody receive it this morning. Something new. Engage him. He went out on his own. He went out on his own. He began to direct the quiz. He began to direct bed. If he could direct bed, he would direct human beings. He will direct human beings. He will direct men and women. He will direct human beings. He will direct human beings. He will direct money to you. He will direct cash. He will direct capital. He will direct wisdom. He will direct strength. He can labor and tabaya. So shall it be this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout a big amen. Let's quickly intercede for the nation. This is the final, this is almost the like seventh day. We are praying for this set of nation. Hallelujah. And this is the last time we are praying for them for this week. For this year, hallelujah. By the time we're coming back here on Wednesday, we'll pick up another set of nations. I'll, another set of nations to pray. Let's 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 call these ones together. Can I hear you call New Caledonia, New Zealand, Nicaragua, New Jersey, Nigeria, Russia, and Ukraine? Russia, Ukraine, Nigeria, New Jersey, Nicaragua. New Zealand and New Caledonia. Now, if you look at very well, I want us to be sensitive. Like I said, command your money is not just for personal prayers alone. If you look at what is happening right now, you know that the nations need more prayers. Especially what is happening between Nigeria and Niger. We don't want war. We want peace. 
I say we don't want war. We want what? Peace. We don't want war. We want what? Peace. We don't want war. We want what? Peace. If you look at what is happening in Ukraine and Russia, we don't want war. We want peace. That is our declaration, Lord. Peace over the nations of the earth. Peace over these nations who are mentioned, Lord. Anything that will sponsor war, any policy that will sponsor war, we cancel it this morning. We destroy this money. We pull it down this money. We root it out this money. Declare with me, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we are for peace. We are not for war. We connect with that anointing. We release that anointing. The anointing, anointing for peaceful reign in the name of Jesus. Peaceful rule. We pray for Niger Republic this morning in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we cry for your intervention. We cry for your intervention. We cry in for your intervention. We are not just talking about war. We are not just talking about any other thing. We are looking at human beings that are dying for free. Human beings that God created being destroyed. Not what we are talking about. We pull down the yoke of war. We pull down the voice of war. We enthrone the voice of peace. We pray for Nigeria. Lord, in this nation, we cry. We raise the voice of peace. We raise the voice of justice. We raise the voice of justice. We raise the voice of peace. We cry. We raise the voice of peace over Ukraine and Russia. Let we pray for New Zealand. Let there be voice of peace. We pray for Nicaragua. Let there be voice of peace. We pray for New Caledonia. Let there be voice of peace. We arrest the demons of destruction. These are demonic activities. Anywhere you see destruction is not God. Anywhere you see destruction, it can let where human lives are just destroyed. Lord, every demon, every blood-sucking demon moving all over Africa, moving all over Africa, moving all over Africa, we arrest you. We destroy you, a destroyer. Every destroyer moving over Nigeria, moving over Niger, over Burkina Faso, over Mali, Syria, Lord, all over Africa, all over Africa, every demon of destruction, we pull you down, you are arrested, we enthrone the voice of peace, 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 we raise the banner of peace over Africa, we raise the banner of peace over Nigeria, over Ukraine and over Russia, oh God arise, let's show us mercy, wave your hands, let's bless God this morning wherever you are, please just bless this God this morning, thank God because new things are happening today, God I'm a candidate for a new testimony, I'm a candidate for a new blessing. I'm a candidate for a new idea. I'm a candidate for a new a new encounter. I'm a candidate for a new promotion. Lord, thank you. Holy Ghost, my senior partner, I connect with your ministry today. Hey, you are the one that brings quays. You are the one that draws customers. You are the one that draws souls. You are the one that draws finances. I partner with you today. I partner with you, Holy Ghost. I partner with you today. I partner with you, Holy Ghost. I go forth in your might. I go forth in your wisdom. I go forth in your energy. I go forth in your in your in your path. Lord, thank you, thank you, because it's a great day and it's a great week. It's a great day and it's a great week. It's a great day and it's a great week. It's a great day and it's a great week. It's a great day and it's a great week. Thank you, Abba Father, in the name of Jesus. Somebody say good amen. Place your right hand on your forehead. Father, let this hand on their heads be anointed hands that will produce new things today. New things today. New ideas today. New connection today. New customers today. New direction today. New life today. New encounters today. New blessing today. New favor today. New opportunities today. As you step out, as you partner with the Holy Ghost today, may the Holy Spirit draw make the impossibility possible may the holy spirit draw customers into your business in the name of jesus christ may the spirit of god take you beyond your strength today 
in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Spirit of God order your steps today. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will see good. You will see good. To this benefit will not pass you by. To this benefit will not pass you by. Everything you have thrown down will remain down. Everything you pull down will remain down. Everything you pull down will remain down. Everything you have rooted out will remain rooted out. I see them dry up forever. In the name of Jesus. Everything you planted will grow and bear fruit. Everything you do this morning will last in the name of Jesus. Your testimony will be a lasting testimony. Your business will last. Your career will last. Your ministry will last. Your calling will last. Your dream will last. Your vision will last. Your career will last. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord go with you. Cause his face to shine upon you. May God be gracious to you. Return with testimonies today in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout a little amen. amen. Look at your neighbor and say, Neighbor, neighbor, as you partner with the Holy Ghost today, he that went down to the, to the sea to bring quays will channel into your life miracles and testimonies, things that your strength cannot do things that your intellect cannot do the holy ghost will perform for you today the holy ghost will perform for you today that your business lacking customers is bringing customers away is bringing customers away somebody shout a better amen 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 amen let me tell you something about the testimony of this scripture before we, 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 we share the goodness and take our friends and say, let me tell you the testimony about this scripture. is a very powerful. The Holy Spirit kept on ringing it in my mind. Now we picked up this scripture in the Sunday service. And we began to pray. Every businessman that the Holy Ghost is bringing customers. Now one sister had not been selling her goods. By the time it was Monday morning, she opened her business. He said the place was crowded. And it was like, ah. Uh -uh. What happened? He said, where did these people come from? He now realized that he told the Holy Ghost that went down to the sea to bring quails. He should bring the customers. And I believe God that God will repeat this testimony on somebody, I mean, on behalf of somebody. I say, the Spirit of God will, will duplicate this testimony in your life. All of a sudden, they are coming from left, right, center, from the north, from the south, from the east, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. This is our first fruit today for the week. This is our first fruit for the week. And we plant it by faith. Lifting it and declaring that only to cover King of Glory, the Spirit of God, we partner with you with our finance. That you are drawing more money to us. In the name of Jesus. Harvest we never cease. Elijah said to the woman that the barrel of meal and the cruise of oil will not cease until the Lord send down rain. I pray that nothing ceases in your hand. Nothing finishes around you. Money will never finish in your bank account. Money will never finish in your pocket. Money will never finish in your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. And I'm too connected to be frustrated. I'm too loaded to fail. I'm too inspired to give up. I'm too talented to suffer. I'm too sinful not to be fruitful. I'm too protected to be a victim. I'm too useful to be useless. I'm too great to be disgraced. I'm too honorable to be pitied. I'm too rich to be poor. I'm too anointed not to be needed. I'm too invested to be wasted. I'm too surrounded to surrender. Too defended to be defeated. I'm too empowered to be subdued. I'm too exalted to be humiliated. I'm too positioned to be dispossessed. I'm a miracle, not a mistake. I'm an asset, not a liability. I'm a jewel, not a junk. I'm a treasure, not a trash. Men are divinely motivated to favor me with their time, with their treasure, with their talent. My needs are met. My bills are paid. My debts are cancelled. I have more than enough. I'm simply a person of influence. I'm a person of affluence. I'm making global impact. This is my season of new things. I say it's your season of new things. It's your season of new things. And today something new will happen again. I say something new will happen again. Have a great day. When are we meeting? Wednesday. Make sure you share this video. Make sure you invite somebody. And make sure you share your testimony. Hallelujah. It's time. It's a season of new things. Have a great day today in Jesus' name.